Now, in this video, I'm going to do this question again. I did an earlier video one way, and I'm going to show you another version. We're given that 2 minus 4i is the root of this equation, z squared plus pz plus q equals 0. We've got to state the other root and find the values of p and q. Now, because there's no i's in the equation here, if we're told that z equals 2 minus 4i, the other root must be what is called the complex conjugate of this. And that is that we just switch the sign here on the imaginary part. So the other root will be 2 plus 4i. Now for part B, what we do, for this version anyway, is that if we know that z equals 2 minus 4i, or it equals 2 plus 4i, the complex conjugate, this means that because we had this kind of equation, a quadratic equation, then this must have come from the fact that z minus 2 minus 4i multiplied by z minus this value, put that in brackets, must have equaled 0. So all we need to do now is just expand this. And then what I'm going to do is compare it to this result. So if I expand this, what I've got is z times the z here. So I'm going to have therefore z squared. And then I've got z times this minus 2 plus 4i. So that's going to be minus z multiplied by 2 plus 4i. Then I'm going to have this z multiplied by minus in this bracket 2 minus 4i. So I'm going to have minus z multiplied by the 2 minus 4i. And then down this end, I'm going to have minus times minus is going to be positive. And then I'm going to have 2 minus 4i times 2 plus 4i. 2 minus 4i then multiplied by 2 plus 4i. That's going to equal 0. So if I start to expand the brackets, what have we got? We've got the z squared here. We have minus 2z and then minus 4zi or 4iz. I write it as 4iz, minus 4iz. Then for this bracket, we've got minus 2z and then plus 4iz which is convenient because I can see that that's going to cancel with that. We'll do that later anyway. Now I need to expand this bracket here. This is actually the difference of two squares when you've got here one complex number with its complex conjugate. What we end up here is two squared, which is the four, and we end up canceling the eight i and this minus eight i. And then we get minus 16i squared, which will then convert to plus 16, because the i squared equals minus 1, and then it equals 0. So if we simplify this, as I said earlier, you can see that the minus 4iz cancels with that one, giving us 0. So what I end up with here is z squared, and then we have minus 2z minus another 2z, so that's going to be minus 4z. And then the 4 plus the 16 is going to be plus 20, and that equals 0. And if I compare that now with what we were given, compare with z squared plus pz plus q equals 0, you can see now that the coefficient of z was minus 4, and it's here, it's p. So therefore, p must have equaled minus 4. And if you compare the constants on the end, you can see that q has to be that 20. Okay, so another way that you could do that question.